developing today. The White House has not yet clarified plans for a new transgender military policy. The president declared a ban on transgender members of the military in a series of tweets this morning. Channel 2's Nicole Carr is live in downtown Atlanta. Nicole, a transgender veteran, told you that service members are worried about what happens next. And you know, that's because so much is unclear at this point. The White House has not explained what happens to openly transgender troops serving right now, and the Department of Defense hasn't updated its policy to reflect the president's tweets, tweets that don't align with the government's own research. Submariners accept me as I am. Atlanta 2003, Monica Helms founded the nation's Transgender Veterans Association. Today, the decorated Navy veteran has a message for active duty trans troops. Keep up hope. Keep hope. Because Trump isn't going to be president forever. We contacted Helms after this series of tweets from the president Wednesday morning. Trump has declared a transgender troop ban, citing medical costs and the issue of disruption. It looks like that they may get discharged. Hopefully, a honorable discharge if they do. But those arguments against trans service members were refuted in a Rand Corporation study commissioned and released by the Department of Defense in 2016. It has no effect on the budget. The study estimates more than 8,000 active duty and reservists who are transgender. By their best estimate, less than a tenth of the force would seek transition related care with an openly trans policy. The research cited minimal health care costs and impact to service readiness. The final recommendation implement policy to successfully integrate openly serving transgender service members into the force. They are being. Um, really mis misrepresented. They're being lied about. Right. Georgia so equality. Of, they have put their lives on the line. They are currently serving in the military. They are supporting all the policies that the administration, whether the administration supports them or not. We will help whatever we can do and get you through this. Now, as of this broadcast, the Defense Department's website still reflects a transgender policy that allows openly trans troops to serve. No word on when the White House or the Pentagon will provide any clarity on a policy change. Live in downtown Atlanta, Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News.